Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to teasers on The Young and the Restless, Tucker McCall will be dealing with Audra Charles with a few tricks under his sleeve. Audra is making every effort to take control of Glissade because she has made it apparent that she wants it. But it's clear that Audra hasn't been doing well. Audra might have to offer Tucker what he wants as well if she is serious about winning this. Even though Tucker has pressed Audra to accept his engagement ring and become his wife on several occasions, she hasn't shown desire in doing so. If Tucker makes a fresh offer to sweeten the pot, might that change? Tucker will make a suggestion in the episode airing on June 10 that has the potential to completely alter Audra's perception of the circumstances. Naturally, there will be a small hitch when Audra discovers Ashley Abbott in Tucker's suite, but Tucker will eventually give an explanation of the events surrounding the Martin Laurent twins and Ashley's treatment at the clinic. When Audra hears the full unpleasant tale, she'll understand that Tucker had good reason to be concerned about Ashley and maybe even soften. After that, Audra will receive more startling information. Tucker might give Audra a harsh lesson in reality by pointing out that she won't be able to receive Glissade unless she accepts a trade. Tucker might consent to sign everything over to Audra since he thinks she secretly wants to be with him. However, this would only happen if she gets married to him first. Tucker may want a clause in a contract stating that Audra will remain in the marriage for a predetermined amount of time, perhaps a year. Tucker has the potential to guarantee Audra a divorce and the exclusive use of Glissade if she remains unmarried at that point. Would Audra accept a deal such as that? Keep checking back for updates on Audra's decision in response to Tucker's proposal, as our Y and R forecasts indicate that she will be faced with a challenging situation. According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Tucker will demonstrate his surprising versatility. So tune in. Victoria Newman and Claire Grace might find a new incentive to work together, but Victor Newman won't like it. According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Claire has been Victoria's first focus ever since she learned her eldest daughter was still alive. But Claire is now Harrison Abbott's babysitter, and she's urged Victoria to return to her passion at Newman Enterprises. Victoria has been determined that her priority should be being a mother, but after learning about Victor's most recent plans, she might reconsider. Fans of Y and R will remember that Victoria suspected Victor was planning something that would have an impact on the Abbots already. Victoria might soon acquire proof that Victor is planning to get revenge on Jack Abbott, which will undoubtedly have an impact on both Jabbot and his family. Will Victoria feel pressured to return to Newman Enterprises in an attempt to lessen the harm? Victoria may believe that Victor is merely encouraging Adam's worst impulses because she is ready to disagree with Adam Newman on his business plan. Victoria might believe that she is more needed than ever at Newman Enterprises as a result. In any case, as this plot thickens, there's a chance that Victoria and Claire will team together. Claire will want to take all necessary precautions to keep Kyle Abbott, his father, and the people they care about safe if she learns of Victor's spiteful scheme. Victor will be extremely Irish if he finds out that Claire and Victoria are plotting to harm him, even though they both realize they must find a method to stop him before it's too late. If Victor was upset about Cole Howard and Michael Baldwin talking behind his back, just think of how furious he will be if his granddaughter and daughter turn on him next. In addition to being a wonderful opportunity for Claire and Victoria to become closer, this could cause Claire to lose the respect she has gained from Victor after her recuperation. Stay tuned for more stunning news as we anticipate that the Newman family will soon become severely separated. According to teasers for the young and the restless, Victor might have to deal with a few more traitors, so keep an eye out. An old conflict reappears in the June 10 to 14 young and restless peak. It seems like Adam and Sally have never been closer. In fact, Adam asked Sally to move in with him. When she finally did accept, she happened to see Adam consoling Chelsea. 
but it was soon clear that it was about Connor, whose OCD was becoming worse. After Chelsea left, Sally consoled Adam and said maybe Connor's situation had to worsen before it could get better. Adam and Sally are having a kiss in their apartment. There's a knock on the door. He advises her not to respond. She queries why. It might be trouble, he warns. Who might that be? Victor was obliged to turn Jordan over to the authorities and send her to prison, where she belonged, after Michael and Cole found out that she was being held captive in his subterranean cage. Feeling deceived, Victor dismissed Michael and gave Cole the order to avoid his daughter. Cole takes Victoria out to dinner the next week, suggesting that he has no intention of following Victor's instructions. Much like a date. Finally, Victor gave his old enemy the command to stay away from his wife despite the fact that Jack's pill trick forced Nikki to sober up. Next, Michael informs Lauren that there's cause to think Victor and Mr. Abbott's long-simmering conflict is going to flare up again. Michelle Stafford clarified the record on Instagram two days after winning her third daytime Emmy. The young and restless lead actress stated, I need to put an end to this strange story that seems to be taking off. It has to do with what I said to executive producer slash head writer Josh Griffith on stage. Thank you for letting me cry in your office. Normally, I wouldn't give a bleep, she went on. However, I believe that telling you the story can be beneficial for anyone going through a difficult time with loss. I recently lost a parent. It was utterly disastrous. But you have to live your life. You report for duty. You look after your children. Furthermore, life does really go on. Naturally, that doesn't imply that the heart isn't still doing its hardest to mend. I had arranged a meeting with Josh approximately 10 days following his passing to discuss certain queries I had regarding my account. Every time I mentioned my character's relationship with her children and how I thought it would play out, Stafford replied, I felt a wave of emotion wash over me. We were talking about a few different topics. Have you visited there before? You get over a loss and go on, but what if, while you're talking to a coworker or see something at the market, anything triggers a memory and you start to lose it? It grows worse the more you attempt to stop it. Oh my God, it's awful, she continued. That's the actual event. I started crying in Josh's office. Like a fool. Discussing Phyllis's relationship with her children seemed to trigger something in her. I felt really ashamed. I apologized a lot. He acted in the most humane way. He said and did things that I won't go into, but they were very human. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.